Hi guys, so today's topic is going to be uh, the basic editing techniques where we're going to use the basic editing tools that you see over here. Uh, we've already worked with the drawing tools, the layer panel, we've already worked with the status bar down here. Uh, I even did a few examples where we made some uh, mechanical drawings. So you can go into my previous videos if you want to check that. But today we're going to work with the modify panel. Now, modify panel, what it does is everything that I draw using my draw tools, I will modify it by using my modifier tool. Like for instance, if I make one line and I want to make multiple lines, I can use the copy tool to copy it. Or if I make a circle in one location and I want to move it to another location, then I'll use the modify panel where I use the move tool to move it to the specified location. So uh, that's what I'll be working with both the tools simultaneously. So it's extremely important that we learn how to work with the modify panel. Now before I get to the modify panel, there's something that I wanted to uh, teach you is how to uh, work with selections. Like anything I want to modify, right? Any line, anything I want to modify, I have to make sure I select it first. And then I can go to the modify and then modify it. So, but selection by itself is important to understand what's the best way of selecting an object. What is the fastest way of selecting an object? So let's see. Now for instance, uh, I'm going to show you right now three different ways of making a selection. Uh, I'm going to try to select right now this particular door over here. So one of the ways of selecting the door uh, is, for instance, if I would want to move it, right? So go to the move command and then I can select it by click, click, and click. And then I can move it to wherever I want. Now, the second way of doing the same exact thing is by selecting using a uh, selection. So let's go to the move tool again. Now, instead of clicking it three times, I'm selecting it with this window. You see that? See how I did it? So all I have to do is go to the move tool. So I go from down, drag a window till I touch and enclose my objects. Okay? From down to the top left. Click, drag, and in one go I've selected all three of them. And then I can move it, right? Now that was the second way. Now the third way of doing the same thing is by going from top left to the bottom right. So what this does, it selects everything that's lying within the window. You see, so it's just selecting the door and these two wall lines. If I would have selected the same area, but if I would have gone this way from down to top, it selects everything that it is inside as well as everything that it touches and crosses. See, so now it's selected these two walls, which obviously I don't want. So the best choice for making this selection was to select it pretty much like that. Okay, if I want to select this window, I would go select it like this. If I want to select the door, I would go select it like that. Okay, if I want to select just these three lines, I could just use the crossing selection, the green one, by just touching all these three lines. Okay, now what else could I use? Like if I want to select this whole chimney area to delete, to modify, to move, to do whatever. I can go from the top and then select it like this. Now what this does, it doesn't select the walls, it's just selecting everything that's inside of the uh, blue circle. See that? So it's important to understand how we use the selection tools even before we get to the modify panel. To make your drawing efficient, you have to understand all these three different ways. One is just by clicking on it, by clicking. The second one is by dragging a window from the lower right to the top left. This selects everything that it is crossing and everything that's within that green area. And the third one is going from top to bottom. It selects only that's within that shape. It doesn't select anything that is touching or anything. It has to be within. It has to be inside. Just like over here, it's just going to select the door right now and obviously the wall which was inside. Okay, so now that we understand how the selection tool works. Now let's go to the first tool called as the move tool. Now as the name says, as the picture shows, uh, you can select a certain area 
and just move it. So the short command or the keyboard command for this is just typing M and enter or M and spacebar. It's the same thing, spacebar is a lot easier. So I use the move. Now what I want to do is select this whole wall and move it up along with the doors. So I will move it like this. See that? So I got the wall, I got the doors. Now where do I want to move it from? So that's important. I want to move it from this point. I don't want to click anywhere on the screen. I want to give it a specific point. I want to move it from here. And how far? Probably up till here. See? So that was pretty easy to move. If I would have used a different selection, like if I would use a selection, the crossing selection, you see that? Now what happens? See, it's selecting all these walls and my work is going to be doubled. So the best selection for me was making my blue little selection without the crossing, select everything that's on the inside, click, give it a reference point, where do I want to move it from, and till where do I want to move it from. Okay, so that's what your move tool does. Uh, I can move pretty much anything and everything. I move the whole drawing by typing M, enter, select objects, I can enclose this whole thing, and move it from, I can even select it anywhere from the screen, from here to here. I want to move uh, maybe just just this one, just the little patio thing. So I select it with the crossing. Maybe this is easier right now. And then I move it to wherever I want. Okay. Like I can move this with the crossing from this point because I want to line it up perfectly, and I want to line it up maybe right here. Okay. See how the move works? So specifying your base point of dip displacement is important whenever you're working with the modified tools like move and copy and scale and rotate. So you have to give it a base point as to where I want to move it from and then to where. Okay? So I hope you understand the move tool. Uh, it just moves the different objects. Now let's jump to the second one. The second one is a copy. So it works nearly the same as the move tool, only difference is instead of moving the object, it makes copies of that object. The selection process remains exactly the same. For instance, uh, I want to uh, right now copy this onto here. So I can click on that or I can type CO spacebar so I clicked on that, now it's asking me to select object. Now how would select it? One, two, and three. Either I could do three clicks or I could do just one go. Okay, hit enter or spacebar. Now it's asking me the base point, so this is important. If I want to line it up in the right place, I have to specify the right base point. So I'm going to move it from that, wherever it meets the wall, to, to right there. So see what it did? It, it left the original, now it's making copies. I can go and click like a thousand different places. I want to click one over there, I want to click one over here, I want to click one on the center of this wall, I want to click one in the middle of the house, anywhere and everywhere. It will keep going. I can click like a thousand times and it will make a thousand copies. But obviously that's what I don't want, so I'm going to go control Z to go back to my copy command. Now, that's how you use the copy command. Okay. Uh, for instance, if I want to put a door over here, first I'm going to delete this door, but I want to copy that door and put it right there. So I'm going to use what command? Is the C O R copy? C O enter. I'm going to select a selection just like that and close everything properly. Enter, select the base point. I want to move it right from there. You see that? And I want to move it to here. Okay? And you see that this door that we had over here was bigger than this one. So you could always fix it up or draw another one. But that's how you would move the doors. Okay? So I hope you understood the, the copy command. Now let's go to the next one called as the rotate. 
Now it's always a good idea to keep your mouse onto that tool for a little bit so you can see a picture so you understand what's going on and how the tool works. Okay, so the looking at the picture is pretty handy as well, especially when you're a beginner uh, with AutoCAD. So let's go to the rotate. I'm going to click on the rotate tool. Now it's asking me the same exact thing. Select the objects to rotate. Now I'm going to select this door. Okay, door is selected, hit enter. Now again, it's asking me the base point, as in from where do I want to start rotating it? So I can click somewhere on the door itself. It depends where I want it. And see, now what it's doing, it's trying to rotate it from that point. Okay, so now that's a rotation of 90 degrees. You can see it right next to the mouse. If I keep going, then that's the rotation of 0 degrees. And that's just uh, any angle. So it depends. You could even specify an angle if you want. But I'm going to rotate it just 90 degrees right now. Okay? See, it rotated that door after I selected it, rotated it from that axis, and rotated it 90 degrees. What if I want to rotate um, the whole drawing 90 degrees? I do RO, which is the short for rotate, space bar, select my whole drawing, enter. Now, where do I want to rotate it from? I probably want to rotate it from this point, or maybe just let me go outside the scheme, screen. So I'm going to rotate it from this point. I'm not giving any uh, specific snap, but I just go somewhere over here, click, and see, I'm rotating my mouse, or just moving my mouse, and it rotates it or I could even give it an angle. Like for instance, I'm gonna type 45 and hit enter. So it rotated my drawing at an angle of 45. So I could use the rotate again to do the same thing. Everything is all about how you do the selection. So how you select the object is extremely important. So for moving, for rotating, uh, for copying, all of that you have to make sure that you're selecting the right object the right way the fastest possible way okay so now the third command that we have over here is the stretch now stretch is an extremely important command a lot of people uh, have trouble understanding how this uh, stretch command works but if you look at the picture you can you can kind of understand how the stretch is working there now for instance I have this garage right here and I'm asked to stretch the garage or make it a little bigger by maybe two feet so how would I increase the size one of the ways would be by selecting this whole section okay enter and I want to move it from maybe here it doesn't matter I move it from here going in this direction like two I'm typing two and feet and hit enter so now it did make it two feet bigger but what happens is you know you have to do some extra work trying to fix it so what I am going to do here is just use my stretch command uh, for that I'm even going to hide some of the layers or freeze some of the layer L A Y S R Z to layer freeze select objects I'm going to get rid of the doors and the windows so I have easier space to work with now I'm going to drag a crossing selection just like what you see in this picture okay so my selection is going all the way from one till the whole crossing right so I do S for stretch enter select the whole section like that enter from where do I want to stretch it maybe from here which direction that direction and how far maybe five feet enter so you see what it did it made it a lot more easier and I stretched everything in one go so I'm going to the next tutorial where I will be talking a little bit more about the stretch because we're running out of time here so I'll continue uh, teaching you the same stretch command in a bit okay thank you